one of the things I need to work on is my drinking. You know, recently I have been picking up more of my drinking since my breakup. You know, I'm trying to let go of that situation and move on. But, you know, I've been kind of struggling because I have been thinking of the what ifs and the could ups and the damn it's and I should ups and the troubles that I brought onto the relationship. I really wish it didn't happen, but. I could have stopped it. I felt like I could have stopped it, but I just listened to myself and it let my emotions take over me and show the character that is not me at all, that did not feel like me at all, but it was easy to portray, you know? And, you know, I could admit that I could admit that I fucked up on my relationship, you know, I played, you know, a big part of us breaking up, um, cause he is a good, he's an amazing guy, let me just say that, like, he's amazing, but, you know, I showed my ass and I had to move to Texas because I had no other fucking choice, so, I'm here trying to understand those type of wrongs and troubles I brought among um, in my last situation. And one thing that definitely has stuck out is I need to rely on myself. Even for 2020, that was my New Year's resolution is to know how to rely on myself. It's just when the pandemic hit and I lost my job before the pandemic and my self-esteem really shot down. I really think I was falling into a depression, but I was trying to feel like I was picking myself out of it, you know, but you know, I was just mentally, mentally stupid. Let me just say that. I was mentally stupid. I'm mentally not well. I can definitely tell you that. Um, and for, you know, my relationship to end has made me really, really think on my mental wellness. And um, just made me really think on, I really need to know and learn how to rely on myself because if I don't know how to rely on myself and take care of myself, I can't fucking take care of anybody else. And I know I deserve like an amazing relationship, like the one that could have happened, but I didn't allow it to happen, you know? And um, I want to make sure I don't make those same mistakes because I am 32, you know? Once it's 35 for, you know, black women, you know, it's hard for us to have babies and I don't even have a child yet, you know. I've never even been in like a good, stable relationship to even get to that level. So it's like I don't want to miss the last, my, my opportunity into having that chance, you know. And I'm not 35 yet, and I feel like 35 is like the tipple point of when your life is like, all right, are you stable? Are you good? Are you successful? Do you have kids? Are you married? It's like that point where I feel like your life has to be good. And I feel like I got three years, <laughs> three years to at least get there. So moving to Texas with my aunt, you know, it's definitely helping me let go of my relationship and start new and just start focusing on myself and really learn how to rely on myself because that's one thing that definitely sticks in my head is not me being able to rely on myself and not be considered valuable towards people or for people, you know, 
and I would never want no one to feel that or look that upon me again. So I, I definitely, definitely, definitely want to learn how to how to do those things. But I want to do it the right way. You know, I don't want to rely on myself. I'm definitely going to put my faith towards God now, heavy now. And um, I'm not going to worry about no relationship. Well, I shouldn't be worried about any relationship or anything. I just need to focus on relying on myself. So I am like fully, fully, fully relying on God. Like fully relying on God. And I hope he hears me, which I know he does because he really does answer my prayers. I don't know y'all relationship with God, but for me, I know he, he listens to me. I know I have like a strong relationship with God, but I haven't really pursued it. I haven't really put him first in life. I haven't really, you know, been been um fearful or what you could say. I haven't been um fearful enough, we could say to want to go and fully fully full fill his his blessings you know and fill his power of what he can actually do in my life or what he already has planned for my life i haven't even given him the opportunity to do it because i've been so fucking selfish and i i i, I gotta get out this selfish mode because i am not emotionally available for people like the way I should be and I've disappointed people that I, 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 I just don't want no more like I just don't want to do anymore like I don't want to disappoint I don't want to disappoint anyone I don't want to feel emotionally disconnected from people like I want to feel love I want to feel accepted I want to feel affection I want to feel All, like I, I want to feel all the love emotions, you know. I want, I want, I want to feel that. And my me being, me being emotionally disconnected, like the way that I am, it's not healthy. It's it, it's not good, and it, it definitely is shown. It's shown to me. It's shown enough to me to make me want to be able to improve and change on being emotionally available to people. And being emotionally available to myself because I don't even know how to love myself I cut my hair off you know I cut my hair off because it was so damaged and it showed that I just was not taking care of myself because I don't appreciate myself so it's like I'm happy that I moved because I'm in a space now where I can focus on rebuilding myself, you know, and focused on getting to my shape, you know, looking attractive the way that I know I can look, you know. I need to, you know, start taking better care of myself. I need to start working out, juicing. Like, I cut my hair off because of it. I just wanted it to be straight or something, to look decent, to make me feel like I look decent, but it, it wasn't working. So once I got here to Texas, I chopped it. Played my Jill Scott music, you know, and uh, just had my auntie chop it up. It looks a little crazy because I'm just waking up, but it's going to be cute once I uh, do my little sponge brush through it and put my little oils I mix together to help it grow out evenly and make my hair feel beautiful so I can feel my power, you know. I need to feel like myself, and I haven't been feeling like myself. I've been very disconnected from myself, and I know I've been very unattractive. I just wish my ex would have told me, and that probably, that would have pushed me. I don't know why things 
like a tone like that, speaking negatively to me like that pushes me, but it it helps me, my confidence. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird, but I need to work on that. But I'm I'm trying to find myself. I'm trying to figure out my self worth and what makes me feel sexy, what makes me feel confident, what makes me feel attractive, you know? I'm trying to find those things again and put them into someone new, you know? So, I I can't wait to see what happens, honestly. I'm kind of excited. And I honestly feel, I feel pretty like this, honestly. I always feel like I look nice with short hair. I always feel like short hair looks really, really nice and it fits my face. But I do kind of want my hair to grow, you know. I do want to try some dreadlocks or something because I am Caribbean. So, I can't, I can't wait to see the process. Maybe in three months. Three months process. I can't wait to see what happens with my hair because I can't wait to freestyle and do all my creative styles with it that I like to do and things like that. So, we're going to see what happens. But I definitely feel pretty with my short hair. I do. I do. I feel definitely pretty. I feel free. I feel like I am rebuilding. You know, I am reshaping until... I'm reshaping into this woman that I should have been all along, you know. But you know, everything happens for a reason, so I'm not I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at all. But I know I need to get out of my head that I'm not gonna find another, you know. That's the only thing. There's more. Plenty fish in the sea. But I will not be doing online dating anymore. Like I am done finished with that I'm gonna let God bring the guy to me I'm done I'm not searching I'm good I'm good right now but I there are other good guys out there I caught them so I know I could get I can get I can get a real live one that for me and that will accept my flaws and accept my bad days and accept my troubles and you know, accept all of me like the way I would accept all of them, pretty much. But I'm going to find that confidence in me to know my my worth so I won't ever put myself in a position like the way I did before. You know, and I'm going to just rely more on my faith. I'm going to rely more on God. I'm going to look for God's directions. I know he's given them to me now because I have separated myself. So I do belong to him right now. So I'm just listening to Clifford Dollar, T.D. Jakes, um, Joyce Myers, Rick Warren. I'm listening to all these different pastors, you know, trying to connect the dots of the moments of what they're talking about from the Bible, from God's word that connects with my life. Um, so I can feel like, all right, God is telling me to work on this. So I got to focus on this area of trouble and get out of that. And now I, got, I have to be in the process of now I'm trying to be in the process of getting God's words to sink into my mind because that's something I have a trouble with. Like, I can listen to a whole YouTube video of T.D. Jakes and I can listen to something that really catches me in that moment. And it, it stays in my mind for a second, but then it fades away. But then, like, maybe, like, three months, I go back to that sermon, and then it, the whole thing comes together, pretty much. You know, I need to be better way of explaining things, but like I said, I need to work on my drinking. I've been a little tipsy because thinking about my relationship and stuff, and, um, but I know what I'm trying to say, but I hope you guys are understanding what I'm trying to say also. But I'm trying to 
connect sermons with the moments of my life to know that God is really talking to me and giving me, uh, what would you say, giving me direction on what to do. And I'm really, really concentrating on that method now, you know. I'm really trying to find God's words now. I'm really trying to pay attention because I don't want to fuck up anymore. You know, I'm 32. I don't have no kids. I'm not in a relationship. I don't have a stable career. I'm not financially stable. I don't know my self-worth. Like, I, 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 don't, I don't have nothing. And I've always said this to people. I don't have nothing. And it's like, I want something. And I know God hears me, and I know He's like, you could have it. You just gotta listen to me. So I'm, I'm searching and realizing pretty much that everything is in the Bible. Everything is literally my whole life, all my depressions, all my anxieties, all my sadness, my tears, all my how tos, my DIYs are in the Bible. I just never picked it up or took it seriously. So now it's like I'm taking it seriously because it's literally stories, stories that could connect with situations or life experience that you're trying to get through. And I'm taking it serious now. Like I'm in school for faith at the end of the day, you know, going forward with my life. I am searching for God as I'm going to try to make it to heaven. I might not be the most perfect person in the world, but best to believe, I'm, he, God going to see me. He, he won't be like, come on, I know you've been trying. I know you've been trying, so just come on, come to me. You're okay. You okay now? And that's just what I need. I just need him to know that if I ever die, it's like, just take me in. Like, please. Like, and that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at now in life. Or whatever. That's where I'm thinking out in life now. And, um, I'm taking it. Like, I'm really seeking God's word and his path. Like, I want to be a mother. And I feel like I have three years to, to be able to try to reach that goal. I know God can make anything happen, but humanly, which I need to get out of, um, I, it's like I want to be a mom. And I know that black women have trouble at any age, pretty much, giving birth. But I know black women definitely have trouble around the age of 35 of having children and i don't want to go through ibf i think for that whatever it's called ibf IBF, whatever it's called i don't want to go through what that technology stuff that's not that's not the godly way i don't feel like it is like i don't want to do technology just to produce whatever kind of baby i would want i want whatever god would give me you know, I don't, I, I feel like that's so humanly, like, it's, it's not, it's not godly, I don't know, maybe it's in the Bible somewhere, if it is, I will share, but for me right now, I ain't really feeling it, I want to be natural doing it, you know, but, um, I want to be a mom, I, I want to be married, I feel like I have the potentials of being an excellent wife and best friend to my potential lover, whoever God sends my way, okay? Like, I feel like I would be amazing. I just need to be able to work on my troubles, and I know God is going to help me out with that. Like, But I want the opportunity of being a wife, period. Like, I do. Um, I wanted the opportunity of being a better sister because I haven't. I want the opportunity of being someone's best friend because I want a homegirl to hang out with or a home guy to hang out with. Like, I'm not, I have a best friend, but he's all the way in fucking L.A. And he's working on his music career, which I'm so, so excited for. But I don't feel like he be having time for me like that no more, you know. So it's like I kind of want, like, a best friend. The whole thing now that I moved to Texas, I can meet, like, a whole lot of people, 
that would, you know, want to fuck with me and hang out with me, you know, think I'm a cool homegirl and things like that, you dig? So it's like I'm praying to God that God at least bring me at least one person I could at least call like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning if I'm going through something, you know, I could just answer it. Like they could just pick up the phone and be like, girl, what, what's up, what you going through and things like that, you know. And I do the same for them. I want to learn how to be a friend. And if God want to rekindle old friendships, I'm here for that too, you know. But I'm all about, you know, positivity now, man. I'm 32. Eight months, about, what, nine months from being 33? So it's like I'm going to see how much God is going to change. And I really feel like God can make a difference in my life in six months if I really just focus on Him. Like, I really do. Like, I feel like I'm about to get my driver's license because I never drove a day in my life because I'm from the Bronx. And we don't need a goddamn car. We can just hop on a goddamn floor train and it'd be taking us everywhere. Or we could just hop in a cab and we'd be good. But living in Texas now, bitch, you need a car. So I need to work on my license. And first I need to get my permit and then get my license. But, you know, I need to I need to do that. And I know God can do that within six months. I know God can get me a good job in six months. I know God can teach me a skill in six months because I am, my goal is to find like a, a good maybe city job or something like that or just like a good paying job but I know I need a car so I know I'm definitely going to work on my job's license and then I'm going to apply to some good ass jobs which I know God's going to bless me with and then I'm figuring on out on getting my real estate license. I think I'm going to go for that because I feel like it would be a good way for me to get out get out, and to know about the city of Katy, to meet people, to network, to build business. Limited pair, ow, it's coming soon. Big, big things, trust me. Um, but yeah, I think getting my real estate license, it would definitely challenge me. It would make me feel... I would get to practice my entrepreneur. I would get to practice my entrepreneur. I can't talk right now. Entrepreneur. My business skills. It will help me build my networking skills. It will help me know the city of Katy and explore Texas in general, Houston. Um, it would help me, you know, get me out of my box. And that's what I need. You know, and it's the same thing with me wanting to start living in Paris. It's going to be everything, steps I would need for living in Paris. And it'll help me sell some houses and probably make some good money doing it. So, I'm I'm excited to see my progress and to getting my license. And I'm going to share with you guys because I think it's going to be cute. So, it, you know, I'm looking to build skills. And I know God can help me with that in six months, get making some decent money within six months, getting it started, getting me excited. God can get me a nice living place in Texas in six months. Like, I can have my whole life started in six months if I really just devote myself into God, and that's what I'm going to do. Point breaking period. Now I'm excited. Now it's like, Phyllis, you're going to be dope. By 34, you're going to be dope. And I'm excited to see the type of person that God has developed me to be or created me to be. Because I know he's going to shape me into something beautiful. I know he is. And it's like now all the troubles that I thought I was going to talk about, I don't even want to talk about anymore. It's, it's like now I'm positive. Like now, now I'm ready to start my day. Now I'm ready to start my day. Now I'm ready to start my day. This was good. I like doing this. This helps me release. This helps me know everything is going to be okay. Just stay positive and rely on God. I don't have nothing else to say, guys. I feel so liberated right now. I feel good. And it's not even a look at talking. It's just like, I'm just letting things go. And it feels amazing. Well, it's not even like I'm drinking wine. It's not that bad in the morning, right? I don't do hard liquor in the morning. No more. Now it's like strictly wine and anything I drink. 
but I definitely need to work on my drinking because it is definitely, um, I don't want it to mess with anything that I want to work on mentally. Like I am on a mental wellness journey too and I know drinking does not help. So I, I definitely, definitely am going to work on that. But um, yeah, I just wanted to jump on here and, you know, share my thoughts and share my feelings. It feels so good. Maybe I'm going to start doing these more, you know, not so funny confessions or something like that or something, something, think of something. I feel like doing this more. Disrespectful! With his broke now van. Mm, let me stop. But, um, yes, I'm gonna do some more of these videos. So, all these flies coming out now. I'm gonna do some more of these videos. Um, hope you guys follow me. Yes, make sure you follow back. Make sure you follow me. You can share this video. Follow, follow your girl, okay? I feel this is. This is, this is a new, if you don't know me, great, because I don't know me. Just follow me. Watch me grow into something amazing. Okay. Laters.